Now let's talk about the different uh, windings or different windings inside the transformer. What I mean by different windings, the different configurations for installing the winding on the iron core or the transformer core. Now, before we start this lesson, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So the first type is the helical winding, which you can see in this figure, the helical winding. And as you can see, the helical winding consisting of a few to more than 100 insulated strands wound in parallel along the length of the cylinder with spaces inserted between the turns or the discs to minimize the circulating current between the parallel strands. So as you can see here, you can see between this big turn, we can see a disc, a disc, another disc, another disc. Between them, you can see here this is a spacing, okay, or spacers. You can see this part. Let's delete this. You can see this part. This part is called the spacer. Okay, you can see there is a spacing between these group of windings or turns. Why is this? Because it will help in minimizing the design of the transformer in this form. It will help in minimizing the circulating currents uh, between them. Now, this type of, of windings, when we do this formation, when we have a large or high currents. So when we have a low voltage, high currents, we are got, or high currents, we will need to use this formation or the helical winding formation. Why helical winding? Because it is easy to manufacture with a high mechanical strength. Only the biggest problem of this uh, formation or the helical winding is that we will have a large transformer, large volume, because we have spacers here, which will lead to increasing the size of the, the uh, increasing the size of the transformer. So if you look at here, you can see this part, this part, which is the spacers inside the transformer between each group of windings. Here is another shape, as you can see here, uh, the core of the transformer and the three phase, as uh, a high voltage and or low voltage winding, high voltage, and then low voltage, you can see here spacers. As you can see this part, this part, the spacers between group of windings or group of strands of winding, similar as here. Okay, you can see here and here, spacers between them, spacers between them. The second formation is called the disc wind, as if we have group of discs uh, around the transformer core. Now this one is used with the uh, high uh, power rating transformers. It is used when we have a transformer that has large number of windings or large number of turns and the low current. Or to be more specific, low current, high voltage loads, greater than 25 kilovolt uh, value. High voltage, 25 kilovolt. And you'll find here insulators are here between uh, or are between the disk layers. So you can see between each layers, between these disk layers, there is an insulating material that insulates between this group of disks. Okay, so what you will need to know is that this formation or the disk windings is used when we have a high voltage or greater than 25 kilovolt. The third formation is called the layer or parallel winding. Now, as you can see, this is a parallel winding, parallel uh, winding or the layer winding. This formation is used in the tap changer transformer or the load tap changer transformer. The transformer with tap changing function or tap changer function. So you can see this part, this part that will go outside the transformer. This representing what? This representing the tabs of the transformer. You can see one, two, three, four, and five. Five tabs in this transformer. And we said that the tab changer will be used to change the uh, 
uh, number of turns of the transformer. Now we will understand the type changer in another lesson inside this course. Now the layer winding is one of the simplest of winding in which the insulated conductors are wound directly next to, to each other. Now several layers can be wound on top of one another and the layers are separated by solid insulation ducts or a combination of insulation and ducts. Now what is the benefit of ducts? Now in oil transformers we would like the oil to go through this winding to be inside this winding okay so we have ducts between them between these layers to allow the flow of uh, oil now what what will be the function of oil here it will be help in cooling this winding since they will have a high amount of heat energy the flowing of of the oil through this windings will lead to cool down of the transform also, this type gives us the tabs that will be used in the tab changer as we just said. Now, the last one which we will discuss is called the pancake winding. As you can see, it is giving us the shape of the pancake. Now, the arrangements of conductors here are formed in discs. So we have discs above, above each other. This will form in the end the shape of the pancake. This type is used exclusively in the shell type transform. So in this lesson, we talked about different uh, formations that you will find in the construction of the windings of the transformers. In the end, I would like to thank you for watching this lesson. If you would like more helpful electrical engineering courses, make sure to check out our academy, Khadija Academy for electrical engineering courses. You will find helpful electrical engineering courses, paid courses, and also free courses. Thank you and see you in another lesson.